hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video I will be doing a, a DIY DIY this is for a phone case that I made so pretty much I wanted a super bling a diamond phone case so this is how the case looks like it's a really blinged out and I love the way it looks so I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there are more videos to come and also follow me on social media I do post a lot on my Instagram so I would appreciate if you follow me and let's just get into the video you're gonna need gems a lot of gems super sparkly ones these are my favorite they are oval shaped and they glitter so nicely it's kind of like a rainbow effect which I really like um, I also got these gems these are different sizes which is perfect because that's what you want to give like a dimension and these were each $1.99 from Michaels you will also need some glue. I got the Loctite Super Glue with Gel Control. I really liked this one because it has like a squeeze at the top and you're able to work with it a lot better. And this works great to make sure that all the gems stick nicely and do not fall off. This was also for Michaels for about $2. And of course you will need a case. So this is a Samsung S8 case and this is from eBay. You can also find it on Amazon, wherever you'd like. And it's just a basic clear plastic case and I think this was about $3. So I'm going to begin by using the big oval gems and placing them randomly around the phone. I like to keep them in the center because those are my favorite and I feel like they look well like this. So I'm just kind of eyeballing where I would want each gem to go. And I did use all of the gems that it came with. And I'm going to randomly place the different size um, circle gems as well. So I have the little ones and the medium ones and the bigger ones. And I will be starting with the bigger ones as well and just placing them along the phone and just filling in spaces to make sure it's covered entirely with glittery sparkly gems. If it's easier, you can also use a toothpick to maneuver each of the gems and make sure they're placed where you want them. I also had a sticky um, orange stick that I use for my nails and when I do gems on my nails. So um, that was also super easy to use and it made everything easier and faster and I really recommend if you have one to use it. So far this is how it's looking. It's so bling and so pretty and I really am liking how it's turning out. Now after gluing all of the gems, I'm going to take this LA Colors nail polish in a silver glitter. It's super sparkly and I love it. This was about a dollar and I'm just going to take it to fill in all of the empty spaces that I have between the gems. So here is an example. 
Um, I'm just putting it to the edges and like in the middle between gems. And you can also put it on top. It'll add more bling and shimmer. And I'm also going to make sure I get each of the empty um, edges. I don't know if you can see right here. I um, am taking the glitter and applying it to the plastic part that has nothing and no gems as well. It's just so that it looks really shimmery and glittery like this so this is the finished phone case it's so pretty whole gem look and glitter just gives my phone case a nice cute girly touch and oh it even goes well with my nails and see you in my next video bye